Hello, I'm Vitaly Glebuchkin speaking for Lex Sharonov and in this video tutorial I'll tell you about working with the log footage in Adobe Premiere. As an example I will use vlog footage from Panasonic camera. The material for this lesson was provided by Quinton Mawini, a special thank to him. There are a few scenes shot in vlog with different exposure and white balance. Let's start with these clips. This video was shot with the prop exposure. Let's move to the timeline and go to the color tab. Lumetri panel appears on the right. It is responsible for the use of different LUTs and base corrections. LUTs can be used in two sections, basic correction and creative. LUT that corresponds to a camera is loaded in the basic correction. LUT for toning and color grading is loaded in the creative section. Between these two LUTs we have white balance settings, exposure, contrast and others. Image processing goes in the same order in which these elements are located. First input LUT applies, then the white balance, then the exposure, then creative LUT. Let's load Panasonic LUT, which is designed for VLOG. Here is what we got. This LUT converts the logarithmic color to the REX 709 standard. If you don't apply any correction, it doesn't matter in which section you load it, in the basic or creative. Let's turn off the basic correction and upload it to creative. As you can see, the result is the same. Let's add one more clip. This clip is shot at two or three stops darker. Again, go to the color tab. I apply Panasonic LUT to this clip. Here we have a clip with a normal exposure and underexposed clip. If we made an exposure mistake, we need to fix it somehow. Let's try to use exposure slider in the lumetri panel. I measure sky level using waveform and then I lighten the sky with the exposure slider to the same level. I add 3.5 stops of exposure. The sky became the same brightness level, but something went wrong with the shadows. The shadows also became brighter and the contrast is gone. Here is the first video with correct exposure, here is the adjusted clip. Hence, this method doesn't work. Let's try another one. I disable LUT in the basic correction and load it to creative. Try to increase exposure. Now I had to increase it at two stops, but the shadows again became brighter. Here is the original version, here is after. Why we don't get a good result? All these corrections are designed to work with gamma coded video material. These are color spaces like sRGB and REC709. Mathematical equations, which are used in the exposure calculation, calculate the brightness of the color based on the assumption that the video is already coded in a REC709 format. In this case, we have a log material, so pre-programmed equations don't work correctly. We cannot point in the program that the source material is logarithmic, so the corrections will never work right with the logarithmic material. Let's do it the other way. I will add the clip again without applying any corrections. I export a still in T format. Here I choose the T file format and disable the export as sequence. I click export and open the FreeDelot creator. Load image. Load Panasonic LUT. I put it in the end of the correction order. 
and here we get underexposed development. I go to the AB tab, there is brightness. If I change it, I'll get the same bright shadows as with Lumetri. But in 3D LUT Creator I can choose in which format we have the original image. I choose here VLOG. After that, 3D LUT Creator begins to develop the log format. But also, there is an output log section. If I also select VLOG there, 3 lot Creator will first convert VLOG to the linear format and then back to the logarithmic. If we open the history window and compare how it looked before we turned on VLOG and after, there will be no difference. The image doesn't change, but the brightness slider is replaced by the exposure slider. Now, instead of brightness adjustment, which is done by using such curve, 3 lot Creator actually will adjust the exposure. If you explode the Lumetri tool, you'll see that the exposure slider is not actually the exposure, but brightness. It is used the gamma curve to increase or decrease brightness. We can adjust exposure only if we have the original dynamic range and it is wider than the monitor can display. Otherwise, the program will not have additional information if we begin to shift exposure. So I increase my exposure at about 3 stops. The exposure is adjusted when taking into account the fact that the material is V-Log and then Panasonic LUT is used. Save a combined LUT. Let's name it Exposure plus 3. I go to the Premiere, load the LUT and compare the results. Here we have a correct exposure. Here is the result of exposure increasing in Lumetri. And here we have 3 lot Create result. As you can see the results are much more similar. Let's add some more exposure. Plus 3.5. I save LUT. Load it. And let's compare. Here is the result of 3 lot Creator. And this is exposure increasing in Lumetri. Let's try other videos. Here is the clip with the normal exposure and that's underexposed at 3 stops. I'll load it twice. I apply Panasonic LUT to the first clip. And to the second one with low exposure. Let's try to increase the exposure. And everything is getting worse. This is the normal development, that is the brightened video. Let's try to apply the LUT in creative section. It doesn't work either. It happens because the correct exposure changing can only be done in a logarithmic space. Now load our exposure correction LUT. And that's what we've got. Here is the clip with normal exposure. And that's the dark one with adjusted exposure. As you can see the result is much better than this. In the last example let's see what we can do with the white balance. That is the same scene shot with the different white balance. In this clip the white balance equals 2500 and grey color is close to grey. In this clip the white balance equals 10,000 Kelvin and the picture is yellow. Let's try to fix it. 
first I load the LUT for developing the video with the correct white balance. And I make development with the clip here. Let's try to move the white balance. It should be even cooler, but it doesn't go further. Let's try to move the LUT to creative section. This way we'll have a greater white balance range. Highlights look green. Let's fix it. Done. Here is the footage with correct white balance, and that's corrected. Let's make slightly cooler. If I check the bright areas, the white balance seems almost right. If I look at the dark areas, the white balance and the shadows differs. Here is brown color, here is gray. The same thing we can see at the checker. Here all the colors are neutral. Here only the lightest patch is neutral, but the darks are brown. That is, the white balance sliders don't give the correct result. Now let's fix it in Threadlot Creator. I'll move it to the timeline and export. Load into 3D LUT Creator. Reset exposure compensation. And here I can use the eyedropper to set the white balance. The white balance is set. Here white balance is adjusted in the v -log. Then Panasonic LUT is applied. Save the new LUT. loaded. Compare the result with the correct clip. It turned out that even the correct version has greenish tint. We can fix it right here. As you can see, the colors are almost identical. Now let's see the result of Lumetri. The lights became cooler and the shadows became warm. Thus, 3 Light Creator gives you a lot more options to fix your lock material. Due to the fact that the color correction possibilities of lock video is close to the raw files, with the proper handling you can fix a lot more problems than if you shoot in Rec. 709. However, due to the fact that Lumetri has two slots to load LUTs, we can do a trick. I turn off the Panasonic LUT. As a result, we get a LUT which converts v lock to v lock with adjusted white balance. Here we have the original v lock. here is the result. I'll save this LUT. Let's name it v lock temperature minus. I load it in the basic section. Now I can load developing LUT from Panasonic into creative section. And get the same result. That is, if you prefer to have one common LUT applied to the entire footage, then you can apply such LUTs into separate clips to correct the exposure and white balance. Unfortunately, 
in the basics section you cannot adjust LUT influence seamlessly to adjust the exposure or white balance, as in creative section. But you can make different LUTs for different situations. I hope this lesson was useful. The same technique can be applied to any type of lag. In 3 d LUT Creator, in the Output Lag section there are all the same logarithmic curves as in the input. So whatever lag formats you use, you can also apply this correction. That's all for this video. Subscribe and stay tuned. Goodbye.